Hello YouTube. I know you saw the title already. Can't believe I'm saying this, and this is the most important trade for the Senators rebuild. I know that you know what I'm saying. Eric Carlson got traded. This trade happened last week, which is a few days after the Montreal Canadiens also traded away their captain Max Pacioretty for the same case. The Ottawa Senators owner Eugene Melnick started a new campaign, hashtag Ottawa Rising, involving the Eric Carlson trade. And oh thank gosh, now the Senators are staying in Ottawa. Now let's talk about the trade. The Ottawa Senators traded Eric Carlson and Francis Perron to the San Jose Sharks in exchange for Chris Tierney, Rudolph Bowsers, Dylan DeMello, Joshua Norris, a first round pick in the 2019 or 2020 NHL draft, a second round pick in the 2019 draft, and two conditional draft picks. Full details about the trade will be in the link below. So who won the trade? Admittedly, I'm saying that San Jose won the trade and in my logical opinion, I think it is that the winner of the trade is usually the team who acquired the big player. But maybe this is not always the case. Now to talk about my thoughts of uh, the trade, I think I would go neutral saying it would be good and bad at the same time. If I would say this is absolutely a good trade, it is because when the Senators were terrible last year and are rebuilding, it makes the perfect sense to trade away the captain. The only sad thing about the trade is that I miss seeing Carlson play, not the Senators going to suck without him. This trade does kind of relate to the P.K. Subban trade two years ago, in which that is a similar case. The Colorado Avalanche did end last in the season prior to the Matt Duchesne trade and reached to the second wildcard playoff spot in the following season. I think this would happen in a similar case for the Senators as well. The San Jose Sharks will visit the CTC on December 1st in the afternoon, welcoming back the former captain in the return tribute and the Senators visiting San Jose on January January 12th. And by the way, my brother is moving to San Francisco in the upcoming months, which both there and San Jose are in the Bay Area, so it looks like Eric Carlson was straight to the right team. Who should be the next captain of the Ottawa Senators? Well, it's obvious for me to say that Mark Stone should be the next captain because he got the most points for the Senators last season, tied with Eric Carlson, and he was the points leader most of the time last season. I also think he is one of the best forwards of the Senators, and he's been with the team since he was drafted. With the Eric Carlson trade, my hope is that the Senators must make into the playoffs this year, otherwise the trade fails miserably. Now, if I would say this is a bad trade, here is what my rant be. This is what happens when Eric Carson gets traded. F*** you, Jane Melnick. Do you know who he is? He is basically the adult fiddler of the Ottawa Senators, meaning that he won't listen to your requests. Hey, Eugene, f*** you. F*** your soul. F***ing hate you. You ruined our team, and you're the worst owner of the Ottawa Senators. If you people are reaching to a four-way stop, and you saw Melnick is crossing, run him over! I hope you enjoyed me sharing my thoughts about the trade and even laughed about the rant. You're always welcome to share your thoughts about the trade in the comments whether you agree or disagree what my reaction is. Like, comment, share, follow my Twitter, and subscribe and turn on notification bell, and see you later.